What's going on? Good morning, YouTube. How are you guys doing today? Hopefully, fantastic. Um, today, we're at the shop, and I'm going to be showing you a little something we use at the shop to troubleshoot, help us out, kind of everything. Um, this is through EFI Live, so if you don't have a V2 or I think an AutoCal, you cannot do this. Um, there may be some other means of doing it, but anyways... I'm gonna show you real quick. It's called DVT or dynamic vehicle testing. And the reason is, I'll give you the backstory on this truck, which you hear in a minute, is this LB7 Duramax came in, knocking really bad, constantly smoking at idle, believed to have a hung open injector. So what I was able to do with this testing software is go in and manually shut off injectors until we figured out which one was the problem. So right now I'm gonna show you how to get into the testing side of things through the EFI Live software. Hopefully, I don't know, probably not the best move here, but all right. Anyways, try to get the glare to go away. It's kind of hard. Um, anyways, up here we have the V7.5 scan tool. So we're gonna go ahead and open that up. And I already have it open, but basically when you open this, it's gonna bring you to your console or OBD2 page, wherever it wants to bring you pretty much. But at the top here, right here, you're gonna have DVT. So you can come down here, you can select your controller, which I'm doing this all before the truck's connected. It will connect itself once you have the truck plugged in and everything, which we'll go over in a minute. But basically, you have all these tests right here, PTO and gauge, rail pressure control valve, exhaust brake control, glow plug relay, then you can go over here to control, and you have idle speed, desired rail pressure, master fuel control, and activate individual fuel injector control. So this is what we're going to be using today. We'll uh, we'll get the truck plugged in. We'll start it. You'll see that you'll hear the issue. We'll go through. I already did it. I know what injector is bad, but I'm just going to break it down for you guys to show. I don't want the truck to run with a hung open injector, so I'm going to turn number six off right away because that's the issue. But basically I went down the line and just clicked on each one until I got the knocking to go away and the fuel stop and the idle to clear up. So that's what we're going to do right now. Get everything set up, open this up, activate it, turn the truck on. You'll hear the knock for a second. I'll click six. It'll go away. Let me get set up here and uh, go ahead and show you how this all works. Alrighty guys, so where we're at, we got our OBD2 cable plugged in to our V2, our V2 plugged into the laptop. Now we should be able to come over here, we're going to turn the key forward to the run position, go ahead and hit read, which is this little green dot up here, select our controller, we're already on the LB7 with the automatic, okay everything seems good, we're going to let it do its thing, connect, we're going to activate this so everything is on, activate individual control. I don't want the truck to be knocking, so I'm gonna start it with six off. See, it's knocking. There we go. So we had to turn on the fuel control and notice how the knock went away. So it was smoking pretty bad, now it's not so bad. So at least the knocking's gone. And now we can pull the truck in the shop, but it gives us a little diagnosis to tell us that that was the issue with the truck and that we were having a hung open number six injector. So we're gonna get the truck in the shop, start tearing it apart, but uh, just goes to show you how the tools that we have make it a lot easier for us to diagnose things and figure things out. Obviously don't wanna drive the truck too hard because we're down an injector technically, but rather be down an injector than running with one hung open so see you guys in a little alrighty guys we have this injector out and I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get this to focus maybe on a good background see how nasty that tip is and how much soot is coming out of the holes makes me believe that uh, this thing was in fact hung open so we're gonna get this injector changed out Got the whole truck taken apart. I know I didn't really show too much of it. Um, maybe the camera will focus. Um, 
pretty much an LB7 injector job. I know uh, Truck Master did a great video on this and a few other people, so I'm not going to beat a dead horse. We've changed injectors before, but yeah, I mean, if you guys uh, want to see, this is just a quick one injector job, but uh, maybe down the road we'll be doing a full set, so that's a video I will film. I'm not going to film just tearing it apart, throwing one injector in and uh, all that good stuff, but that's going to do it for today, guys. I just want to show you a little bit of the DVT option on EFI to help you troubleshoot trucks or help you figure out an issue. Looks like this will be our, our issue. Hopefully, we can take care of it and get this truck back on the road here shortly. Um, doesn't doesn't do any good just sitting here so collecting dust so we're gonna try and get back on the road the customer can do what he pleases with it but uh maybe if i think if he decides to keep it he's going to end up putting a full set of sack style injectors in because i think his are a little bit finicky so anyways that's gonna do it for today guys hope you enjoyed the video hopefully you learned something new and if you did drop a thumbs up if you're new here please hit that subscribe button and uh we'll see you guys later i'm out